this one's from Eric. Uh, Mark, I grew up in a Christian church environment. As an adult, I lost faith. I studied physics and astrophysics heavily, and I couldn't believe in a God with us having such a small, insignificant place in the universe. If there was a God, he surely didn't care about our individual, everyday lives. There is a small group of us at work that like to talk about politics, science, aliens, philosophy, religion, all the sensitive topics. One day, the idea of a flat earth came up, and we all laughed and couldn't believe it was a real movement still. I took it upon myself to be one of the ones to look into what these flat earthers were claiming. My idea was just to look at a few videos and bring back what I found the next day for some good laughs. The first video I watched was, they are hiding God with the greatest lie ever. I was glued to the screen. I liked how the clues weren't religion based. If they had been initially, I probably would have just turned it off. At the very end, some Bible verses were put out. One from Job really struck a chord. Uh, stand, I will question you and you will answer. Since you know so much, tell me how I created the heavens and the earth. Were you there? Paraphrased, of course. My eyes filled with tears. I didn't go to sleep that night. I kept digging and digging and digging for weeks. You uh, um, and Eric Dubay, some of his stuff, and Rob Skiba really, really nailed it all home for me. Rob brings in the Bible and makes it all make sense. I look at the world with new eyes. I've shared with my fiance, parents, and sisters. They were all very, very receptive, and my dad, who is a preacher, said he was already on board. It makes you view everything differently and seeing the lies and nonsense that's being forced down the masses' throats is easy to detect. It will change the way me and my fiance raise our family. All in all, I am writing you to thank you for settling me down I'm sorry, setting me down the path. I've been consumed with finding truth. Things I used to love, like aliens, I was so on board with the on Anunnaki train big time. Dinosaurs, space, taking a look at it all now, I can't even stomach it. I'm not sure how you feel about the God of the Bible, but I am sure that I was lost before seeing your videos. If you're in contact with Rob Skiba, please forward this to him as well. I'm following him very closely because of this tie-in with scripture. I want him to know he has helped me immensely. Oh, and Zen Garcia. Thanks a lot. Love you guys. Keep up the good work. P.S. I was also an Army field artillery officer, so I would be willing to help out with anything. I know you sometimes reference professionals who would need to know about the curvature or rotation to do their jobs. Regards, Eric Harden from Kansas City, Missouri. You know what? We're going to end on that one. A real positive, life-changing uh, email. And thank you, thank you for, for writing it. And thank you for everyone who wrote the emails. And I, I again, I read every one of them. And I, you know, if, if, if I can, I'll, I'll try to put it into an email show. If not, I'll put it on Strange Worlds. So until then, uh, stay flat.